American Rod Shop family. Welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. This is your premier video magazine to find great cars for sale. Now in tonight's video, you're going to love these cars. They're classic, they're drivable, they are affordable, and that's what makes them so interesting. Also tonight, we're going to announce the winner of the Hot Wheels that we gave away in the last video. Plus, we'll be showcasing this Hot Wheel that we're going to be giving away in next week's drawing. It is a 2004 Hot Wheels 1965 Star Spangled Mustang. Very great little item, except yours is going to be sealed and unopened. And as usual, we'll have the automotive trivia. How well do you know your automotive history? And we're starting tonight's episode, the fantasy vintage stock car racing segment. So all that's happening at the end of this video. Stay tuned for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. But first, let's check out number one. 1950s Studebaker Champion listed in Dayton, Ohio for $10,000. Up for sale is an all-original, complete, good-running and driving gloss black 1950 Studebaker Champion two-door sedan with only 86,300 original miles on it. It received a mild restoration just a few short years ago, which included a repaint and the interior restored with gray velvet. This car is a survivor that has been garage kept most of its life, and it shows. The body, floors, and trunk are remarkably straight with almost no rust at all. It is powered by the original six-cylinder engine and three-speed overdrive transmission, and it runs and drives well. All of the glass is also very good. The chrome is complete and in decent condition as well. The headliner is stock and flawless. This champion would be a good daily driver or fun to take to local shows. The seller is asking $10,000 our best offer, and it comes with a clean title. He is not looking for any trades. Well, there you go, guys. The very first one showcased today is another Studebaker. I really love these old cars like this one. This one's very nice, in my opinion. I would love to have it. Tell me what you think about this Studebaker in the comments. A friendly reminder to you, if you are interested in checking out any of these cars, all you have to do is go over to this video's description. Click on the word more and when the description expands downward, find the car you're looking for and click on the link underneath that car. and It'll take you straight to the ad where this car is at for sale. Number two is one that I'd love to have just for the fun of it. 1967 Cadillac Fleetwood Ambulance listed in Manuka. Illinois for $6,000. Are you looking for a cool family cruiser that will always draw a crowd wherever you take it? Then look no further. Up for sale is this red 1967 Cadillac Fleetwood Ambulance that has been driven an original 50,000 miles and it runs and drives great and will take you anywhere you want to go. With only around 500 units produced of this particular model, this one is powered by the original 472 cubic inch V8 engine coupled up to the original automatic transmission. New parts added or replaced include newer hoses, new battery, new battery cables, and it has been converted over to an alternator. Everything electrical works good except for the dash lights and the AC. All power steering, power windows, and power brakes work well. Overall, the body is solid, but it will need some minor light body work and a repaint to make it shine. The exhaust pipe has a joint that needs to be hooked back up, but this car comes with lots of extra parts to go with it, asking a low $6,000 or best offer. Now, if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and share, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell. You want to be one of the first ones to get notified when these videos drop so that you'll have the earliest chance possible to try and check out these cars that are up for sale. Moving right along with number three, 1952 Ford Mainline, listed in Omaha, Nebraska for $9,800. Up for sale is an exceptionally well-kept and a very original 1952 Ford Mainline four-door sedan that has been driven an original 82,370 miles. This super clean classic car stops, shifts, handles, and rides great. Factory overdrive works perfectly and allows you to cruise at highway speeds. Lights, vacuum wipers, turn signals all work. 
The previous owner overhauled the cooling system and replaced the fuel sending unit. The current owner has replaced the fuel pump and carburetor with a vintage restored units made in the U.S. The oil and filter were just changed. This is your basic model with manual transmission, column shift with non-synchronized first gear. It has no power steering or brakes, no fancy options. It uses its original vacuum operated Lotomatic distributor, 6 volt positive ground electrical system, manually operated choke. This is an unmolested all original car that you can cruise anywhere in and it will always turn heads and draw a crowd. Asking 9800 or best offer for this 1952 Ford mainline sedan. And guys, man, this was probably one of the best looking ones I found for under $10,000 yet. All original and everything. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Let's see how well you know your automotive history. Question number one, and these questions tonight are all about Cadillac Corporation. How many cylinders did the very first Cadillac engine have? Did it have eight? Did it have four? Did it have two? Or did it have just one? Drop your answer in the comments and we're going to check them all at the end of the video. Moving on with number four. 1968 Oldsmobile 98 Convertible. Listed in Indianapolis, Indiana for $6,500. With only 3,948 units produced and not many surviving, that makes this black 1968 Oldsmobile 98 convertible an extremely nice opportunity to purchase a very rare classic car. Up for sale is this black, all-original, clean 1968 Oldsmobile 98 convertible that has only been driven just over an original 50,000 miles. This car has been well-kept and well-maintained and is powered by the original 428 cubic inch Super Rocket V8 engine, along with the original automatic transmission, which runs very strong and drives great. The glass is all good and everything electrical works great, including the convertible top. With the exception of the trunk lid, which has rust holes, this is a solid body car. The floor pans are solid and so is the trunk area as well. The gloss black paint displays well, but the car could use a new paint job and a new trunk lid. All the chrome and trim are in good condition. The seller has reduced the price from $9,000 down to an asking price of $6,500 firm, and it should sell quickly at that price. Trivia question number two. Where was the gas cap hidden on the 1958 Cadillac Coupe de Ville? Was it hidden behind the body side trim? Was it hidden behind the license plate? Or was it hidden under the tail light? Or was it hidden inside the trunk area? If you know those answers, drop the correct one in the comments and we'll check everybody's answer at the end of the video. We have officially hit the halfway mark of the showcase count with number five. 1963 Mercury Comet, listed in Bloomington, Illinois, for $7,500. Up for sale is a very nice black 1963 Mercury Comet two-door post that runs and drives very nicely. It is powered by its original six-cylinder engine with a manual three-speed transmission, and it runs and drives great. This car has been garage-kept all of its life, and you can tell by the extremely nice condition this car is in. Recently, the seller added or replaced the following items, such as fuel lines, fuel pump, fuel pressure regulator, a new fuel tank, and sending unit. The seller rebuilt the carburetor, replaced the negative battery cable, and installed a new master cylinder. He also replaced one headlight and installed a new headliner and new carpet. He also flushed the coolant, changed the oil, and replaced the differential fluid. This car is solid and ready to go or show. All the hard work is done. You will just have to have fun. Asking a very low $7,500 or best offer, and this one comes with a clean title. Guys, tell me what you think about this one. I think this is a really good deal. Now, if you're looking for a really good gift item for somebody that enjoys watching this show or you just like to support this channel, all you have to do is go over to the American Rod Shop store. I have put the link in the description to make it easy access, 
But there in the store, you can find coffee mugs, t-shirts, mouse pads, posters, hoodies, and many more gift items. And the sale of all these items goes back into supporting this channel. Number six, 1963 Chevrolet Corvair Restorod, listed in Fayetteville, West Virginia, for $8,500. For sale is a very unique, one-of-a-kind, custom-built, red 1963 Chevrolet Corvair Coupe Restorod. It is powered by a professional installed 4.3 motor in the front, coupled to an automatic transmission. Custom touches include centerline wheels, custom side pipes, a custom interior, and a beautiful gloss red paint job. The custom tan interior goes well with the red paint job and features a wide pleat design that makes the seats both comfortable and really pop. The body is rust-free and super straight with all glass and chrome in good condition, and this is a turnkey car and will take you anywhere you want to go. Everything works as it should. This is definitely a cruiser that will turn heads and draw a crowd at any show. The seller is asking $8,500 firm, and it comes with a clean title. Guys, let me know what you think about this one. I have never seen a Corvair converted this way before. Let me know if you've run across someone putting a different engine in the front of one. I think it'd be fun to talk about. All right, let's see which one came up as lucky number seven. 1981 Chevrolet Corvette, listed in Yuma, Arizona for $9,600. Up for sale is a super clean, all original blue 1981 Chevrolet Corvette that has a low original 69,932 miles on it. This car is powered by the original L81 V8 350CI engine with a 190 horsepower, coupled up to the original automatic transmission, and this baby runs and drives great. All glass is good and everything electrical works great, with the exception of the pop-up headlight motors, which tend to stay open. The original black interior looks absolutely amazing and is very comfortable. Custom dual exhaust has been added with chrome straight pipes at the rear, giving it an extra deep throaty sound. The body has no cracks or damage, and the original paint still displays well. The seller has lowered the asking price from $9,800 down to $9,600, or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. So you Corvette heads out there, is this a good deal? I think it is, but you can let me know in the comments. Number 8, 1965 Ford Thunderbird listed in Clearfield, Utah, for $10,000. The seller invites you to come and see this blue 1965 Ford Thunderbird Coupe with an original 46,000 miles on it that he has up for sale and says you will not be disappointed. The seller is the second owner of this beautiful car that he says rides like a dream. This bird is powered by the original 390 big block V8 factory engine and it runs and drives good and is mechanically sound including the factory AC which works great. Everything electrical about the car works great including the power seats and the power windows. The seller drives this car on a daily basis and has kept the maintenance up on it and always keeping it garaged as well. The original first owner repainted the car in the 80s and it does have its dings bumps and scratches, and a couple small rust spots, but still displays well. The original light green interior is in excellent condition for its age and still looks amazing. The seller has extra parts to go with it, like the original air cleaner and an extra set of white wall tires and extra hubcaps, asking $10,000 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. I like this Thunderbird, guys. What about you? Now, if you don't find your dream car in this video, check out our last two videos that we posted, like this one, and then also check out this one. Still a lot of great cars for sale in those videos, and who knows, you just might find your dream car in one of those. Number 9, 1957 Ford F100 regular cab, listed in Idaho Falls, Idaho for $9,000. 
Up for sale is this very hard to find flat black 1957 F100 series short wheel base style side pickup. This was the first year of the new body design for 1957 and only about a third of the 113,000 style sides produced were short wheel base and not many have survived. This truck is powered by a 460 engine coupled up to a C6 automatic transmission and it runs and drives great and the owner takes it out to drive it on a daily basis. This is a rust free cab that only has a few minor dings that can be associated with a truck from this era. Cool custom 5 spoke deep dish mags and a custom louvered hood really sets this truck apart from the rest. All glass is good and all electrical components work well. The seller is asking $9,000 or best offer and it comes with a clean title. And if you would drop in the comments which one of these cars tonight was your favorite. That helps me to look for cars for future videos and I do appreciate always your comments. Thanks everybody for sticking around for number 10. Don't forget, right after this, we've got the Hot Wheels we're going to be giving away and drawing for it. And also we'll be announcing the Hot Wheels for next video's giveaway. Plus we still got Fantasy Stock Car Racing. That'll be a lot of fun. Stay tuned for that. Check out the answers on the trivia questions. All that's coming up. But first, let's go ahead and check out number 10. 1955 Pontiac Star Chief two-door hardtop listed in Chicago, Illinois for $9,000. Right, this is the original engine. This is a Star Chief Pontiac. Runs excellent. Original four-barrel carburetor. Numbers matching engine. Pontiac Strato Street, the 55 Pontiac, see your light working, that comes out, the heater stop, but the engine runs excellent in it, no knocks, no knocks, no smoking, good old car for the price. Up for sale by the second owner is this all-original two-toned green 1955 Pontiac Star Chief two-door hardtop with all matching numbers and an original 55,000 miles on the body. The original engine was rebuilt and has just over 20,000 miles on it. Both the engine and the automatic transmission are in good mechanical condition and with the new tires on it, it runs and drives very well. This is a very rare affordable hardtop Pontiac that is solid, straight car with the original paint and the chrome and glass all look amazing for their age. New seat covers have been added recently and this car makes a great daily driver that will draw a crowd wherever you take it. Although not a show car, this is an opportunity to own a very affordable, nice vintage car asking $9,000 for best offer and it comes with a clean title. And guys, I think this one probably is the best deal in all of the video tonight, but I could be wrong. Let me know what your take on it is and what you think the best deal was tonight's video. Okay, time to draw for that flip motor Hot Wheels that we gave away in the last video. We're going to go over to raffledash.com, put in the URL code for the video, select pick to comment. And the winner is Bobby Johnson, 6355. Congratulations, Bobby. You've got approximately seven days to get in contact with me at AmericanRodShop at Yahoo.com. And I'll give you details on how to claim your prize. Totally free. Alrighty, as promised, here is the Hot Wheels to be showcased that we're going to give away in the next video's drawing. And this one was issued in 2004, making this little Mustang 20 years old. This is a 1965 Mustang convertible and the hood on it raises and it's painted Star Spangled Banner, Stars and Stripes. Looks pretty cool. Here's what to do if you're interested in getting a chance in on to win this car. You have to subscribe. That's the first thing. Secondary, put the word Stang in the comments. And thirdly, enter as often as you would like. You do those three things and you'll be entered in for a chance to win this Hot Wheels when we give it away in the next upcoming video. Okay, here are the trivia answers. How many did you get right? In 1902, Cadillac produced the runabout. 
a horseless carriage type car that was powered by a one cylinder engine. Answer number two. The hidden gas cap of the iconic 1958 Cadillac Coupe de Ville was cleverly concealed behind the left rear taillight. And answer number three, the world's first bulletproof Cadillac was once owned by the infamous gangster Al Capone. This remarkable vehicle is a 1928 Cadillac Town Sedan and is now housed at a museum in Las Vegas and valued at $1.2 million. Hope you guys got all those. And now let's continue on to the next segment. Welcome everyone to our very first fantasy vintage stock car racing segment where I have selected four subscribers to go against each other in a short heat match to kick off this event. In the next video, we'll go into a longer eight car race featuring eight different subscribers to participate as fantasy drivers in that event as well. But for tonight's race, let's go ahead and introduce the four drivers and get that heat match underway. Be sure to turn on your notification bell, and when you get notified that that video will be dropping, then invite your friends and families to watch. It will be fun. Let me first tell you that the response to the subscribers wanting to be drivers in this fantasy vintage stock car race was tremendous. I probably got enough people to last all season, but I could only choose four tonight, so I chose four at random and put them in random chosen cars. Now, in tonight's race on row number one, inside lane, is Brian Zilmer, and he'll be driving car number seven. And in row number one on the outside lane is Stoned Soup. He will be driving car number 12. And on the second row on the inside lane is James Raymer. He'll be driving car number 83. And lastly, in row number two on the outside lane is Mike Spritzer. He's going to be driving car number 17. So without further ado, let's get this race kicked off. Okay, here comes the cars around the bend. I believe the flagman is going to take one more look at them, make sure they're lined up. Yeah, he's signaling one more lap. Make sure everything looks good before he gives them the green flag. I believe they're lined up two by two. They're looking pretty good coming around on the back side. Is he going to turn them loose or is he going to make them go around one more time? No, he's signaling they're going to turn them loose and they get the green flag. Whoa, car 83 got into the side there of car 17 and they kind of exchanged some paint on that first curve. As they finish that first lap, car number seven still holds the lead with car 12 close behind and 83 and 17 fighting for that third place position. You can see some of the cars getting a little bit high there in that first turn. Well, this is a dirt track, which is a lot more slipperier than the paved tracks. The white flag comes out, meaning one lap left to go in this race. And car number 12 is still fastly pursuing car number 7, hoping to maybe catch him on that back straightaway. And here they are at the checkered flag, and Brian Zilmer takes the win in car number 7. Congratulations, Brian, on that exciting win. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That finishes the very first Fantasy Vintage Stock Car Racing event. 
Now, in the next upcoming video, we're going to have about a 8 to 10 car race. It'll last a little bit longer. So be sure to tune in to the next upcoming video. And just let me say, guys and gals, I appreciate all your kind comments about the channel. We're fastly approaching 30,000 subscribers. And when that happens, we're going to be giving away 30 gift items, totally free, when we hit that 30,000 mark. But I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. And I'll see you guys and gals in the next video. God bless you all.